So a neutron star can be one and a half times the mass of the sun, let's say, but it can be about, what, 10 miles across? <laughs> so, so that's an incredibly dense ball of matter held up by this, the neutrons moving around. It's got a fancy name, it's called neutron degeneracy pressure, but that's what it is. The sun is a million times bigger than the earth. Yeah. And this, this neutron star is, would you say one and a half times the mass of the sun, yeah, so but the, 10 the, miles wide? Yeah. So, and there's loads of those around. They're called pulsars. <laughs> so we, we, we see those all over the place. The, the first one that was discovered was called LGM-1 because they spin very fast. And then um, it was called LGM-1 because it's a very regular pulse and they thought it was little green men. We've seen that there's one called the Crab Pulsar, which is in the Crab Nebula, which we saw the supernova explosion. So that's when a, one of these stars explodes at the end of its life and then collapses to form a neutron star. And we saw that in 1054. AD.